The F-22 Raptor, a titan of the skies that has never been shot down and reigns as one of the most formidable aircraft ever constructed. So advanced and cloaked in secrecy, it remains exclusive to the United States, barred from foreign sale by congressional mandate. Born in the 1990s and dominating aerial combat for nearly two decades, the F-22 continues to evolve. Despite whispers of retirement, extensive modernization efforts suggest this American icon will grace the skies for many years to come. Today, we uncover the story of the F-22, its unparalleled capabilities, the astronomical costs of its operation, and what the future holds for this peak of aerial prowess. In the 1980s, the United States Air Force recognized the need for a cutting-edge fighter jet to replace older models like the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. This need sparked the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, program, aimed at developing a jet that would maintain air superiority against emerging threats, including advanced Soviet fighters like the Su-27 and MiG-29. The ATF program officially began with the formation of the ATF System Program Office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in 1983. The program focused on creating a stealthy, highly maneuverable aircraft capable of high speeds and equipped with the latest avionics and weapon systems. To achieve these ambitious goals, the Air Force invited proposals from leading aerospace companies, culminating in a fierce competition between Lockheed and Northrop. Lockheed, in partnership with Boeing and General Dynamics, developed the YF-22 prototype. Northrop, collaborating with McDonnell Douglas, created the YF-23. Both designs showcased advanced stealth capabilities and cutting-edge technology, but they differed significantly in their approach. The YF-23 was noted for its unique V-shaped tail and potential for superior stealth and speed. On the other hand, the YF-22 focused on agility and featured thrust vectoring, which allowed for exceptional maneuverability. After extensive testing and evaluation, the Air Force selected Lockheed's YF-22 in 1991. This decision was based on several factors. The YF-22 was not only seen as a safer and more cost-effective option, but it also demonstrated remarkable performance during trials, impressing with maneuvers that exerted more than 9 Gs on the airframe and effective use of its internal weapons bays. The program's success led to the full-scale production of what would be named the F-22 Raptor. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. And now, let's go on. Although Air Force officials initially believed Lockheed's design would be more cost-effective, the technology developed for the F-22 proved to be far more expensive than anticipated. However, when the Raptor finally entered service, it was clear that the investment had yielded an exceptionally lethal machine. But what exactly makes the F-22 so special and highly sought after? Let's dive into the details we know so far. Why do we say so far? Because despite being in service since 2005, much about the jet remains shrouded in secrecy. A considerable amount of its technology is still classified, adding an aura of mystery to its already impressive capabilities. Firstly, the stealth capabilities of the F-22 are unmatched. The Raptor is engineered to be nearly invisible to enemy radars, a crucial advantage in modern air combat. This stealth is achieved through a combination of sophisticated design and materials. The airframe of the F-22 is meticulously designed with continuous curves and minimal flat surfaces. This unique shape helps to scatter radar waves in various directions, rather than reflecting them back to their source, making it much harder for enemy radars to detect its presence. But the stealth doesn't stop with just the shape. The F-22 also utilizes advanced radar-absorbent materials, RAM, which cover its surface. These materials are specially engineered to absorb radar waves, converting them into heat that dissipates harmlessly across the aircraft's structure. This type of coating often includes components like iron ball paint, which contains tiny particles that further aid in transforming radar energy into heat. Another standout feature of the F-22 Raptor is its ability to supercruise, flying at supersonic speeds up to Mach 1.8 without engaging afterburners. This capability is powered by the robust Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, which deliver up to 35,000 pounds of thrust each. Not only does this allow the Raptor to reach speeds of Mach 2.2 when afterburners are used, but it also maintains a quieter and less detectable combat speed of Mach 1.5 at an altitude of 50,000 feet. 
the efficiency of Super Cruise significantly extends the F-22's operational range and mission endurance, while also preserving its stealth by minimizing infrared emissions. This speed advantage provides strategic flexibility, allowing the Raptor to swiftly engage or disengage from conflicts on its terms. Engine performance is optimized by sophisticated computer systems and specialized air inlets that efficiently maintain high speeds. This combination of speed and agility significantly enhances the Raptor's effectiveness in deploying air-to-air -air missiles, giving it a decisive edge over other fighters in aerial combat. Besides its super cruise capabilities, the F-22 Raptor stands out as an exceptionally agile and maneuverable fighter jet. Central to this agility is its thrust vectoring control system, powered by the previously mentioned engines. These engines feature nozzles that can pivot up to plus or minus 20 degrees along the pitch axis. This innovative design enables the F-22 to direct its engine thrust in different directions, allowing for sharp turns and complex aerial maneuvers that appear almost physics-defying. Complementing its thrust vectoring are the F-22's advanced control surfaces, including leading-edge flaps, flaperons, ailerons, and rudders on uniquely canted vertical stabilizers, along with all moving horizontal tails known as stabilators. These surfaces are crucial for the aircraft's unmatched agility, allowing for precise movements in the air. Moreover, the Raptor's computer-assisted flight controls enable it to perform breathtaking stunts such as the falling leaf, a maneuver that showcases a stunning near-vertical climb after takeoff. The F-22 Raptor's avionics are a testament to modern technological advances, centered around the ANAPG-77 radar system. This sophisticated radar can track multiple targets in any weather condition, day or night, affirming the Raptor's dominance in the skies. The heart of this capability is the Raptor's advanced software, which includes an impressive 1.7 million lines of code that manage everything from missile approach warning systems to intricate electronic warfare operations. The aircraft is equipped with six strategically placed sensors that provide complete spherical infrared coverage, enhancing the pilot's situational awareness and survivability by allowing the detection of threats from all directions. This comprehensive sensor network ensures the Raptor remains steps ahead of potential adversaries. The F-22's systems are designed for seamless battlefield integration, enabling the sharing of intelligence with allied units. This network capability fosters exceptional coordination, particularly among other Raptors, effectively transforming individual aircraft into a unified combat force. This integration is critical not only for enhancing situational awareness, but also for increasing the overall effectiveness of the combat group. Additionally, the Raptor is outfitted with cutting-edge electronic warfare and countermeasure systems that are fully integrated with its avionics. These systems include radar warning receivers, infrared search and track systems, and advanced communication jamming technologies. Together, they provide comprehensive threat detection and a range of response options. The F-22 can deploy chaff and flares to evade enemy missiles and perform offensive electronic attacks to jam enemy radars and disrupt communications, maintaining air superiority during critical operations. In terms of armament, the F-22 Raptor is designed to balance formidable firepower with its stealth capabilities. All weapons are carried internally across three compartments, a large main bay under the fuselage for long-range missiles and two smaller side bays for short-range missiles. This configuration helps maintain a sleek, radar-evading profile by minimizing external exposure. The main weapons bay can house up to six launchers for the AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, ideal for beyond visual range engagements, while each side compartment accommodates an AIM-9 Sidewinder missile for closer combat scenarios. The rapid launch system is a marvel of engineering, with hydraulic doors that open just long enough to deploy missiles, typically less than a second, ensuring the Raptor's stealth is quickly restored. Additionally, the F-22 features a concealed 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon, smartly hidden within the right wing. This cannon's door only opens during firing, minimizing radar exposure. The cannon's firing path and targeting information are displayed directly on the pilot's heads-up display, enhancing accuracy and response time during combat. The F-22 Raptor initially did not see action for several years after entering service. Its first mission came in January 2007, when it was deployed for homeland defense as part of Operation Noble Eagle. Later that year, in November, several F-22s from the 90th Fighter Squadron at Elmendorf AFB in Alaska 
intercepted two Russian Tu-95MS bombers, marking their first interaction with foreign military aircraft under the North American Aerospace Defense Command. Since then, the F-22 has frequently escorted Russian Tu-160 bombers during similar encounters. The F-22's first combat missions began in September 2014 with the launch of Operation Inherent Resolve, a long-term military intervention against ISIS. In the early days of the operation, Raptors dropped 1,000-pound guided bombs on ISIS targets near the Euphrates River in Syria. Over the next year, the F-22s flew more than 200 sorties, targeting over 60 ISIS positions. They also provided close air support for ground forces and played a crucial role in deterring Russian aircraft from engaging American-allied Kurdish forces. By 2018, the F-22 had also participated in NATO's enhanced air policing missions in Eastern Europe. These missions were designed to bolster NATO members with limited air defense capabilities in response to increased Russian military activity around the Baltic states and other areas of Eastern Europe. One of the most notable missions involving the F-22 occurred in February 2023, when the aircraft intercepted a suspected Chinese spy balloon over U.S. airspace as it traveled eastward from Montana. After monitoring its path, an F-22 shot it down over the Atlantic Ocean near South Carolina. Shortly after this incident, F-22s were also involved in intercepting and shooting down other unidentified aerial objects over Alaska and Canada. The F-22 Raptor, known as the most lethal war machine in the skies, is also the most expensive fighter jet ever produced. The total cost for its development and production reached approximately $67 billion. On average, each unit cost about $150 million, but when factoring in the amortized research and development costs across the 187 aircraft produced, this figure skyrockets to an estimated $334 million per aircraft. Looking ahead, the U.S. Air Force is committed to enhancing the F-22's capabilities to ensure it remains competitive through 2030 and beyond. This includes a series of ongoing upgrades aimed at modernizing its radar systems, weapons capabilities, and electronic warfare suites as part of the Increment 3.2B modernization program initiated in 2018. The Air Force has budgeted over $9 billion for these efforts, with plans to extend the life of the fleet and address issues like corrosion and material fatigue. Specifically, $4.2 billion is allocated for procurement-related upgrades, with an additional $1.74 billion planned through 2030, and $3.2 billion for research, development, test, and evaluation. Among the most significant investments are $4.13 billion for sensor enhancements and $2.43 billion for improvements in reliability and maintainability. The Air Force is also investing $553 million in stealthy long-range fuel tanks and pylons, enhancing the Raptor's operational range with 326 tanks and 286 pylons planned. However, the continuation of these upgrades is contingent upon congressional approval to retire 32 of the oldest F-22s, a plan that was blocked last year. These retirements are crucial for reallocating funds to the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program, which represents the future of U.S. air superiority. If these retirements are not approved, the costs to maintain and upgrade these older jets would be exorbitantly high compromising their operational relevance against newer adversaries like China's J-20. The outcome of these budgetary and strategic decisions will determine the future trajectory of the F-22 enhancements and the broader U.S. air superiority strategy. Air Force leaders are keen on transitioning the savings from the older F-22s directly to the NGAD project, emphasizing a strategic shift towards next-generation capabilities to counter evolving global threats. This strategic pivot underscores the pressing need to adapt to the fast-changing landscape of aerial combat and technology development.